Soapbox Engage is an online engagement tool set allowing organizations of all shapes and sizes to do a variety of online actions. Within this suite of apps, we have a petitions app. The petitions app is part of our advocacy tool set, allowing organizations to create online petitions, to collect signatures for those petitions, and if they have it, integrate their petition signings with salesforce.com to get that data into Salesforce in real time. Petitions that are created can show both for a desktop view optimized for a tablet view, as well as optimized for a smartphone view. So if your organization is running a campaign on a social network like Facebook or on Twitter, when your users are clicking the links from them on those mobile platforms such as an iPhone or an Android device, they can be taken to an optimized mobile petition page to make it easy for them to sign your petition. To show you an example of what one of our petitions look like, we have this sample petition here trying to introduce Sassy, the mascot for Salesforce, to Phil, the penguin mascot here for our team at PicNet and so Box Engage. For each one of the petitions, you've got the ability to choose a title for the petition page. You're able to go ahead and choose the hero image or the header image for the page. You're able to choose the different types of charts that you want to have to show the progress for a petition uh, campaign, you'll be able to see in real time the number of supporters as well as display the goal that you have for this particular petition. A little further down, you're able to go ahead and choose any information you'd like for introductory information for this particular petition. You can include text, embedded video, photos, etc. A little further down below, we can see the letter of the petition itself. You can see it has a different style just to make it look and stand out a bit more. Uh, this letter can as well contain not just text, but also images, video, etc. And then a little further down below this, we can see the actual supporter. So if a supporter signs a petition and chooses that they want to be able to share their name and address information, it will show their name, their city, their state, how long ago they signed it, and then any sort of information that they have regarding their reasons for signing. And a little further down below, we've got the ability for you to allow your supporters to spread the word via Facebook as well as Twitter, of which you can customize the language that's displayed on those sharing functionalities. Up above here, we've got the actual section for signing the petition. So in this case, we've got a two-column desktop view. So you can have an introduction for the signing section, the different fields that you want to collect so you get this data in real time in your Salesforce instance if you're using Salesforce, the option for people to go ahead and give you a reason for signing, and then a checkbox to be able to say that they want to be able to display the signature on this particular soapbox site. Another functionality that we have is everything within the Soapbox Engage suite is built with responsive or mobile design in mind. So to take a look at what this could view and um, look like from a smartphone device, for instance, we have a smaller window here. And you can see that everything gracefully moves down to a smaller size for smartphone visitors. So it's got a smaller image. The gauge in the progress section is now smaller. We've got a little functionality that allows you to show or hide the introductory information. We also have this sign the petition button that no matter where you are in scrolling through the petition, you can always click it to sign the petition. You can see the letter, you can see all of the supporters, and then you can easily click the links to be able to share this on Facebook and Twitter. And then when your user goes ahead and clicks the sign the petition, the form appears right away there, making it very easy for them in nice large fields to submit their information to sign the particular petition. On the administrator side, we have our petitions manager that lets you see all the different petitions you have, their status of being published, the number of supporters, the goal, the percent of goal that's been reached. And on a petition by petition basis, you're able to customize a variety of things. So the basics of the title, is it published? The campaign in Salesforce that this particular petition is related to. So in Salesforce, a campaign represents the petition and the campaign members are going to be the people that sign the petition. And then every time somebody signs a petition, we're going to relate the signer to an already existing contact if they exist and if they don't exist, we're just going to go ahead and create a new contact and relate that new contact to this petition via a campaign member. 
So you can set a goal. You can determine whether or not you want to support, you want to accept supporters at this time. Number of supporters to display at the bottom of the screen. The image that you want to have at the top of the screen. And then using the custom headings and labels button across the Soapbox Engage apps, you're able to customize everything from the letter section's title to the goal metric title. This is great if you're having your petitions be in multiple languages and you want to have a Spanish-speaking specific petition, or if you just want to customize rather than calling it a petition, you want to call the letter section part of a pledge, for instance. For the social sharing, you're able to go ahead and say what is the title and the description on Facebook as well as what's the Twitter text that would be shared as well. And then any metadata information for search engines. You can customize that on a petition by petition basis. For the view of the content, the page description, you can use this WYSIWYG editor to choose what content explains what this petition is about, in, uh, including embedded video and images. For the letter itself, you can include basic text, but again, you can also include embedded photos and videos. The bottom of the page, which we call the outro, you can also customize this as well. For the form that's collecting the data, we require first name and last name and email address for the people that are signing the petition, but then you can show or hide or make required street, city, state, postal code, country, the reason for signing, the display of the signature, and a functionality we call Honeypot. Honeypot makes sure that when spam bots come through your site, if they do try to fill out the petition, don't worry, we're not going to uh, fill your Salesforce database with um, bot signings. We want to make sure only human beings are signing it, and we don't want it to get in the way with um, CAPTCHA or that squiggly content or text that makes it more difficult to sign a petition. So we've got a honeypot service that allows you to do that instead. Next, we've got our Messages tab. This lets you know what's going to happen after somebody signs a petition. Are we going to send them to a success page, or are you going to have a particular URL we want to send them to? If you have them go to a success page, what is the title of that success page? You can go ahead and customize that yourself, as well as the content of the page itself. And this is where we recommend folks do things like create links to share with their friends via Facebook or Twitter, or even a link maybe to make a donation for your organization as well too. A little further down below, you can have an email that is sent to administrators, and you can customize which email addresses this email would be sent to in the subject and the body of it as well as being able to send an automated email to the person that signed the petition, customizing the subject and the message for that as well too. Finally, if you want to customize any of the layout view for this particular petition, we've got a lot of controls for you to do without ever having to contact us. You can choose the page layout to be a two column or one column layout, any custom page uh, CSS designs you might have, the page header, the media, the progress section down to the colors of the bars and the tracks and the scale, etc. Uh, the page intro, form toggles, the form itself, a lot of uh, customizations that you can do on an element by element basis within the petition itself. So there you have it, uh, Soapbox Petitions app available as part of the Soapbox Engage suite. If you want to learn more or sign up for it, just go to www.soapboxengage.com. Thanks for listening.